They're getting caught there. Look, this this guy is still confused. He's trying to get over here, probably, and he's just like, where am I going? Where are my squad mates? Can somebody please repair me? A bump, what? All right, okay. He's finally gonna make it over to join with the rest of the guys. And uh, Mutalisk is just continuing to mass up and flock. Natural expansion is up and running, and these sunken colonies are going down. Upper left, quite well defended. Five sunken colonies. So it's going to be hard to break that with Goliaths. I mean, with this many Goliaths, you could do about anything. Uh, but, of course, dangerous for him to leave the base anytime soon. Well, I mean, he should leave the base eventually. Uh, 2,000 minerals. Yeah, definitely command center would be a good thing. Missile turret is going down here, but oh my god. That is unlucky. Doesn't even get close to getting that missile turret up. What is going on now for the Obermind? Just sitting back on three bases and five hatcheries. Double spire for double upgrades. And that, I really like that. Because what else are you going to do? with your money uh probably expand is the next answer to that question mutalisks coming in this way Ooh, meeting a big wall of goliaths finally pushing out here um leaving this base a little undefended you can see not really that many turrets i mean not that this many upgraded mutalisks care that much about turrets but here they come. They are going to push up here, and they are going to see that this base is fairly undefended pretty quickly. Spot this turret. Oh, look, it's a turret. Let's pick off the turret. Hey, there's no more Goliaths. Let's pick off some SCVs. Oh, no, there's some Goliaths here, so I'm going to go after those. But, oh, no, these Goliaths cannot get up. All these buildings doing such a great job at keeping X-Terms away from his own mineral line. So getting some shots off in these Mutalists, but look at how many SCVs they're killing. Oh, my God. God, this is crazy. Still just a few Goliaths over here, so he's actually uh, might pick off a few of these. No, okay. The majority of the army has arrived. But look, he just dives right over here, and now these can't quite hit over here, so he takes out the turret, takes out some more SCVs. And even though, even though some Mutalists are going down, look at this. Okay. Good move to get a command center up during all of this. Should be getting a turret down or something like that. But finally drives the Mutalisks away after taking crushing damage to his mineral line. So going to have to rebuild quite a lot of SCVs. His mineral count is quite high, so he's probably not too worried about that kind of loss of SCVs. But eventually it will catch up to you. Fourth base has been completed for the Overmind. And there's the drone transfer coming down here. So, Mutalisk Force going to get pretty scary pretty fast. Lots of Goliaths out here, and he might be thinking about a push soon, but the thing is, oh man, <laughs> these guys definitely getting lost, and I certainly think he should be rearranging his buildings pretty soon. Um, okay, he is pushing out here, and that is good. It's not, I don't think the Mutalisk can really kill this many Goliaths, but, oh no, going after the base. So, nice counterattack there. Is he going to actually return with these Goliaths, or is just he going to provide some support fire? They're going to take out this turret. They're going to shut down this expansion. Not that this expansion was running that much anyway. Oh, no. So many Goliaths just caught back here. And let me tell you, I understand this completely. I've played against the Overmind a number of times, and you get so flustered dealing with non-stop Mutalus Parass. I mean, it just doesn't stop. It just, just never stops. Okay, most of the Mutalus are dead now. Um... Still more just coming out every second, though. Okay, there we go. Factories being lifted up. And the Goliath actually able to come out now. Still getting stuck. Oh, no. Terrible padding. They're going to knock down this supply depot to improve the situation there. And this other one as well. So, okay. That is a much cleaner looking pathway. But look, Mutal is back already. Shooting at this factory. Um, now on fire. Lots of fire in next term space this is looking very hard for him his opponent of course with uh, 39 times the APM or maybe 38 times the APM and then look, look right back over here like oh my god he just darts right over go for some SCVs does prioritize the Goliath because it is doing damage to him and he can just run away turret going up another turret going up here 
good, good, good. Uh, oh, there's a big Goliath push here that turned back when it spotted uh, these seven sunken colonies. And there's a similar number up here. So really well defended. And look at this. Good number down here as well. So Overmind doing a great job spending all those minerals. Uh, hatchery going up at the top as well. That would make a fifth base. Whereas X-Terms is only barely on two bases. Really not a very healthy two bases. Almost completely mined out in his main. No, not almost completely. Um, yeah, getting to be completely mined out in his main. Although so is, so is the Overmind. Yeah, this expansion is not healthy at all. Oh, a bunch of engagements down here. These Middleists just continue to pick at the Goliaths. And every time they get a Goliath, you know, that's one fewer Goliath on the map. And, uh... Oriol just has not had his gas up high enough to keep really good Goliath production. Good number here. Fighting off that flock of Middleists pretty well. But... There's just so many sunken colonies this game. Uh, you can see the huge improvement over the previous game in terms of how well the Overmind is managing these late game situations. Anyway, um, th this base did get taken out by all those Goliaths. Still getting a lot of Mutalists killed, but look, takes out another Goliath. Takes out another Goliath. He's gonna take out this Goliath. Oh, um, oh, oh, no, he decides to run away and die for some reason. Doesn't take out that Goliath, but <clears throat> it's it's looking really hard for X terms. He can't break any of these bases with uh, this many Goliaths. He would have to get some uh, tanks out, basically. I think that's uh, absolutely necessary. And he can barely hold on to his two bases, so getting a third might be uh, less than advised. 70 food for X terms, 110 food for the Overmind. Terran factory is going to be burned to the ground, I think. Anchoring against these Goliaths. Again, pretty good position. Pretty good position for X-Terms. Doesn't lose very much. Kills a number of Mutalisks. Does lose this factory, which is unfortunate. Because he makes units out of there. Oh, and look, we do have siege mode and a siege tank being produced. So he realizes, okay, my only way out of this is a big push with tons of Goliaths and siege tanks to knock down all of these sunken colonies. There are so many sunken colonies. He might even consider pushing to one of the healthier bases rather than the natural. Of course, as you see, quite a lot of sunken colonies everywhere. Actually, in an earlier incarnation of the Overmind, there was a bug wherein it would actually wall itself in sometimes with um, with sunken colonies. It would make so many sunken colonies, it couldn't leave its own base. Oh, and it actually has made enough that the pathing is, is messed up here. It's trying to transfer drones, but they can't figure out how to get out. That's pretty funny. Okay, so a lot more harassment going on over here. Picking up another Goliath. And just every single Goliath. That's... This gas is basically all he's got going for him at the moment. This this gas is... It's got some life left in it, I guess. But he just can't produce Goliaths fast enough to deal with all these Mutalisks. And these Mutalisks just keep increasing in numbers. They're too, too upgraded now. Um... No hive has been produced. Which I'm okay with, although I wouldn't mind seeing a hive for those plus three, plus three upgrades. But yeah, these upgraded Mutalists are doing pretty well against the Goliaths. I mean, obviously, this could be better. Like, not running into Goliath fire a whole bunch would be even better. But look, just... Every second he's out of position, just goes and kills some SCVs as well. So just causing unbelievable damage. This engineering bay didn't even get a chance to go up. Uh, he can't even make turrets now, I think. Oh, no, he has an engineering bay up here. So I don't know why he's making a second one. Probably confusion. GG there from X-Terms. Our first GG from all four games because it's the first time a human has had a chance to GG. <laughs> and, uh, and, wow, I have to say that that game was probably as scary to play as it was to watch. Just Mutalis coming back and back and back and never stopping. I do encourage you, there are some uh, instructions out, I guess, which I will also uh, link to. Let me write that down, instructions. I will also link to uh, some instructions in getting this running on your computer. The um, 
AI competition actually itself released instructions for how to play against these these bots. So if you want to do that, you can on your very own computer. So uh, check out the links there. Thank you so much for um, watching this. Glad I could bring you these games. And uh, this is Moduli Stack saying bye now.